Let's cut open a webfoot octopus. And when we open it up, there's a round part inside. If we take it out and slice it open, this string-like substance spills out. Zooming in, it's actually moving. Today, let's dissect a webfoot octopus. For observation, we've prepared a frozen one. After thawing it, ta-da! Its body is still perfectly intact. By the way, we always point this out when introducing cephalopods. This upper part is actually the body, not the head. Only this area with the eyes counts as the head in cephalopods. If you look closely at the side of a webfoot octopus's arms, you'll see a ring-like pattern. Webfoot octopuses are often confused with common octopuses. But if you see two ring patterns on the arms, that's a webfoot octopus. Flipping it over, you'll find a straw-like tube called a funnel. It expands to draw in seawater, then narrows to forcefully squirt water out for propulsion or to expel waste and ink. Next, the mouth of the webfoot octopus is located in the center of the arms. Using tweezers to pull it out, you'll see two jaws like this. Cephalopods use these beak-like jaws to bite and eat food. Be careful, sometimes they can bite you. Now, let's take a close look at the inside of the webfoot octopus's body. Cut down the center of the back of the body. Open it up, and it looks like this inside. But today, we'll focus on one part only. Right here, the large round organ packed inside the body. This is a reproductive gland. In the spawning season around March to April, the reproductive gland develops and swells up. During this time, Webfoot octopuses are considered a delicacy, so you'll often see them at fish markets. Especially the female's reproductive gland swells a lot, so you can tell males and females apart just by looking at the body. The insides are also very different. We wanted to show you the reproductive cells inside, but maybe because it was previously frozen, the cells were badly damaged. So, we went to a nearby store and got fresh webfoot octopus innards. Ta-da! First, let's cut open the female reproductive gland, or ovary. Can you see it? Something poured out in large amounts. Under a microscope, you can see countless rice grain shaped eggs. People often call the whole round part eggs. But the correct term is ovary a female reproductive gland. It's where eggs are formed and mature. The eggs inside the ovary later pass through the oviduct and are released from the body, then get fertilized and grow into baby octopuses. Next, let's cut open the male reproductive gland. These stringy things came out. This string-like substance is sometimes mistaken for parasites but it's actually a sperm packet filled with sperm. Webfoot octopuses release sperm in these packets. So when you zoom in on the male reproductive gland of a fresh octopus, you'll see the sperm packets tangled together. You can even see them moving like this. The male places these sperm packets inside the female's body to mate, but fertilization doesn't happen inside the body. Instead, the female stores the packets, and when she lays the eggs, the sperm packets mix in with the eggs, and external fertilization takes place. Strange, isn't it? If you're curious about more internal anatomy, check out our other octopus dissection videos. That's all for this video on the Webfoot Octopus. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where we explore mysteries with science.